So continuation. Um, so to put this in the form, the main important thing is we didn't want to have any coefficients of our squared term. So we divide by 5 on both sides. Therefore, we had in this format. So therefore, we can identify, Zach, that h and k are going to be 0. And therefore, we know that 4p is equal to 16 over 5, right? We solve for p. We got 16 over 20, which we can divide by 4 um, on the top and bottom. So p is going to equal 4 fifths. Does everybody agree with me? Now, to identify the center, the vertex, the, vertex, or the focus, directrix, and so forth, again, the best thing I like to do is just plot the information. I'm just telling you. It just helps you visualize what this problem is doing. So there's our center. We know the center is at 0, 0. I'm sorry, the vertex. Vertex is at 0, 0. Now, remember y is squared. Remember x is squared? Remember I had those up there? Remember standard form, x squared. Opens up, opens down, right? Vertex form, x squared. Opens up, opens down. Now we're talking about y squared. So the graph is going to be opening to the right or to the left, correct? So we, to, to determine if it opens up to the right or left, we look at the value p. Because the value p tells us how far we need to go to our focus. So if p is 4 fifths, that means I need to go 4 fifths over to my focus. Well, 5 fifths would be 1, so it's just a little bit short. And that's my focus. Does everybody agree? So if my focus is to the right of my um, vertex, that means should my graph open up to the right or to the left? The right. To the right. <laughs> so we have the center is 0, 0. The focus, remember, is the value of p plus, now again, we're moving to the right. So I'm going to be adding p to my x coordinate. Well, since my x coordinate is 0, that makes it pretty simple. So that's 4 fifths comma 0. And then my directrix, remember your directrix is perpendicular to your line of symmetry. So if we have a graph that's opening um, to the right, we know the line of symmetry is now going to be a horizontal line. So the directrix is the same distance, equal distance from their focus, but now it's going to be a vertical line. So to represent vertical lines, we need to write an equation as x equals. And it's going to be the same distance, but it's going to be in the negative direction. So it would be x equals negative 4 fifths. OK? And that's it. Oh, I found your water. Oh, did you?